You are the bomb.com. Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today we're gonna to be speaking about internship survival skills 101. Things that I wish someone had told me before I started my internship. My name is Kim, I am a registered dietitian. Welcome to my channel. If you like what you see so far, remember to like as well as subscribe. So today I'm going to be sharing with you survival skills. Yes, these are important. So for all my dietetic interns out there, you guys know where you're going, you know where you're matched and about this time you're thinking well oh my goodness there's so many things that I need to do to prepare for my internship so the first thing that I wanted to share with you is do not think any question is a dumb question I know sometimes you think your question may be silly or it may be something that you should have already known but that's the only way you're going to learn is to ask questions when you ask questions it shows that you have you have a spirit of willingness a spirit to learn you want to be a sponge you want to soak up the information so i know a lot of times you know people will raise their hands and say well you know i think this is a very silly question no it's actually not a silly question Second thing that I did want to tell you is first impressions are lasting impressions. Dress professionally as well your attitude. I know I like to consider myself a very reserved person, a very shy person, but in order to have a positive long lasting impression, you kind of have to get out your comfort zone just a little bit. I mean, don't go overkill and just be extra super nice and giddy, but know how to start conversations and maintain conversations. I think that is actually one of the weak points that I do have. I can start a conversation, but I can't maintain it, so I'm still learning. Number three, realize when you go into the internship program, there's this competition like who has the highest GPA or who got the best grades do not get daunted by this focus on you focus on what you have to accomplish because at the end of the day you guys are all striving to be colleagues to be in the profession together so do not look at the achievements of anyone else focus on yourself focus on your strengths focus on your weak points and make the best out of the whole entire internship fourth point that I did want to bring out is network can't tell you how important it is to network now I know that fancy is coming up and if you are a dietetic intern this will be a perfect time for you to go to fancy reason being when your internship finishes you want to make sure that you have forged long-lasting connections that may eventually develop or blossom into a job opportunity as well if you do not have the opportunity to go to fancy another thing that you can do during your rotations you're gonna come across a whole bunch of different people people some of them may be dietitians some of them may not be dietitians some of them may be doctors or physical therapists or know somebody that knows somebody so please 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 learn to network and as well learning to network putting your best foot forward knowing how to upsell yourself the fifth thing I want you guys to remember is you're gonna have bad days you're gonna have some really good days and you're gonna have bad days I remember in my internship it was like man there was a lot of bad days but some Something that you have to know how to do is to separate your emotional life from your professional life. With your dietetic internship precept, you're going to think at times that they hate you. And to be honest with you, they do not hate you. They're actually just trying to mold and develop your skills. To be honest with you, the dietetic internship preceptors that I remember the most were the ones that gave me the hardest time. And looking back, I could have sworn that they hated me. I could have tell you they hated me but in hindsight hindsight is always 2020 they did not hate me they actually saw that I could actually reach a higher level a higher standard the sixth thing I wanted to tell you is please do not compare one internship preceptor to another for instance what I mean by this is you know you have one rotation this week and the next week you have a different rotation and you realize hey this internship preceptor is doing things totally different from the one that you had the week before don't say, well, last week I was taught. Those are fighting words. Kidding, those are not fighting words. But dietitians do things differently depending on their location, depending on where they're practicing. One unit may practice differently from a next unit. If you're confused about what do you do, what is right and what is wrong, that's where you ask questions. You'd be like, hey, excuse me, you know, this may be a very silly question, but I'm a little confused. The next thing I want to tell you is to please ask 
your internship preceptor for honest, constructive criticism. Now, if your internship preceptor is not saying anything to you, well, one or two things could be happening. Number one, you are the bomb.com. Or number two, you're gonna probably turn them off or maybe they don't feel comfortable telling you their honest opinion or maybe they're shy. There's a whole bunch of different reasons, not just two. Ask for honest, constructive criticism. You're not gonna know your weak points. You're not gonna know the areas that you need to improve upon until you ask. And my final survival skill is something quite simple. It's listen and follow directions. Don't put your own spin on things. Don't do what you're not told. You know, a lot of people think, well, you know, I like to go above and beyond. Before you decide that you're gonna go above and beyond, learn what your preceptor likes and doesn't like. If you have a preceptor that likes for you to go above and beyond, then by all means do it. But if your preceptor gives you very concrete instructions, abide by those instructions. You're not gonna look like a flunky. You're not gonna look lazy. So abide by those. And I think that is very explanatory. So guys, these were my eight simple, quick survival skills 101 tips, things that I wish someone would have told me before I started my dietetic internship. All those out there who got matched to a dietetic internship, please leave a comment in the comment section below. Tell me where you're going. Tell me what your fears are so we can start some discussion. Also for the other dietitians out there which are watching this video, if you have any tips that you would like to add to the dietetic interns, please go ahead and leave those in the comments section as well. As usual, remember to like as well as subscribe. Have a good day. Bye.